be workout for you. It is my turbo torch leg, so we are gonna work hard, but don't be afraid. Just take breaks when you need to, keep them short though. Uh, you do not want pain, you want uh, burn. There is a difference. We want our muscles on fire. Uh, what else do you need to know? Really important to use good form, that means keeping your core tight. Uh, you don't even have to use weights if you're not used to doing leg exercises or you haven't done a leg workout in a while. You don't even have to use weights, just get your form down uh, because that is super important. So you are going to need your dumbbells, uh, a mat maybe, uh, and either a sturdy chair or a bench or a box to step up onto. Um, again, if you use a chair, please make sure it is super sturdy. All right, let's start to... Do our warm up. I really, really like uh, leg day, and it's been sort of hard to get it in with the uh, with running all the time. So I would just say that I'm doing the best I can. And that is the truth. Keep going, keep working out. I'm trying to find what I'm doing. Okay, hold on. You guys keep going because I gotta figure out where I put the new workout. Okay. Um so weird. I slept in my house last night for the first time. Uh Ever. Super weird. Let me just tell you. But you know, I made it. I made it through. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Clearly on this travel bus this morning. Okay, we're fine. I got my timer. So the first one that we are going to do, we are going to do side, then back, lunge, okay? So you're going to take the weights uh, and you're gonna lunge to the side, keeping your knee behind your toe, and then lunge back. Again, this knee is behind your toe. Oh, hi, sunshine. Hi, sunshine. I'm gonna use eights. Uh, you can go heavier with legs, so please do. So I'm gonna keep the weights in front of me. You're gonna lunge out to the side, keep the knee behind the toe, back up, then step back. Okay, you gotta move, because you're gonna make me trip. Watch out. Lunge to the side, back to the top, and then step back. Honey, you can't do this. No, go lay down. I took her for a run, you think she'd be worn out. Keep those shoulders back, keep your abs tight. When you step out to the side, check that knee, and then check that your knee is behind your toe here. So when you do these side lunges, you gotta stick your butt back, and that is how you keep your knee behind your toe. I want slow and controlled movements. Three, two, one, and done. Other side. Out to the side, check that knee is behind your toe. Step back. Yeah, I wanted to get her and myself out for a run this morning. So we didn't go super far, but 1.7, which I was pretty proud of, is very, very humid, but luckily not super hot. And we got out before the sun was shining, which is good. Why are you all fired up? Have you missed your people? Have you missed being on camera? Five more seconds. Remember, take those breaks when you need to. Good work. Ooh. Okay. 
All right, next one. This we are going to do a curtsy lunge. So with that, stand uh, with feet hip width apart. You're gonna step back behind you. Core is tight, shoulders are back, and then I want you to lift. So you really, really have to engage things, keep it super tight. And work, that's what we're here for. Okay, everybody can stay in bed. We choose not to, right? So you lower through this front heel and drive up through the front heel. So step back behind you. You've got to keep those shoulders back because you don't want to tweak your knee. why my workout is not showing up on my phone. So I'm just going to take a picture of it so I don't have to keep walking over here. Okay, next one. You're going to get heavier weights. So I'll probably go with 15s because we're not going to be moving more than just hinging at our waist. The weight, weights will go right down the front of your Legs, when you come up, I want you to squeeze those glutes. Gosh, I stuck to the other weights. I'm gonna know where this came from. Okay, so I'm gonna do 15s. How are y'all doing? And done. 
time. Whew. Goodness, goodness. <sighs> Have some more water. Really important to drink. Really important. short though and how do you feel with your weights are they getting too heavy if you feel like your form or not if you feel like your form is starting to falter I don't want you to just keep plowing through either pick up lighter weights or drop the weights completely that is the answer <sighs> like days challenging you and that's why most people skip it. We don't skip it. Okay. Oh. Woo! All right. Move this, please. The next one we're gonna do, I don't know exactly where, we're gonna do this. Get your ball. My ball is woefully, woefully low because I haven't blown it up since before the summer. My bad. So you're going to put the ball behind your back. I'm going to have to take this down. Put it behind your back, probably mid to lower back. You're going to lower until your knees are at a 90 degree angle up. So you adjust until you really feel it. Keep bringing your feet in closer. You still want your knees behind your toes. You keep your uh, shoulders back, abs tight. Squeeze those glutes at the top. You can grab a weight if you want. I can grab this knee. Mystery weight that I don't know where it came from. So you want to feel this in your quads. Woo! Come on. We can do it. We're almost done. Three, two, one, and done. Thank you guys. 
okay. You might not like me very much right now, but that's all right. That is okay. All right, have some water. Now we're gonna go on to the next exercise. Rochelle, you're dying. I hear you. I know, it is challenging. Okay, next what we're gonna do, you're gonna put those weights back on your shoulders. I'm gonna use my eights. You are going to feet hip width apart, go up on the balls of your feet and down. Go up as high as you can. Your calves are gonna start screaming immediately. If they're tight on you, just step back, stretch them out, and then keep going. Yeah, I just ran, so my calves are like, uh, sorry, we've already worked for you today, leave us alone. Keep those abs tight, shoulders back, go up as high as you can and hold it for a beat before you lower. Very challenging squeeze. 
You can do it. If it gets too heavy, drop it for something lighter or drop completely. <sighs> 20 pounds is really perfect, very challenging. Three, two, one, and down, lower it slowly. Oh. <sighs> We're just going to lay here for a second. Sit back, stretch those glutes out behind and love you. You're my baby. Oh, don't kiss me. I don't like kisses.
I know, I know you don't like me right now. It's okay if we fight. Three, two, one, and put those back. Again, this is working our abs, of course. This is one of my favorite ab movements, but our legs are working really hard right now, too. Lunge to one side, lunge to the other. Keep your hands on the inside of your knees and push out. Reach up. Oh, I don't know about you, but that uh, leg slash ab exercise got me. Hand out to the side. Shoe in your hand, push your knee down into the back. Stretch those quads. Put your foot up on something, lean over to stretch those hamstrings out. <sighs> Shake those legs out. Thank you for joining me. I know it was challenging. Thank you for sticking with it. These workouts are good for us. That's why we do them. Have a beautiful day. I think I'm seeing you Friday. So. Anyway, have a great week. Bye.